Hello guys, welcome back. Now in the previous tutorial, we added a status field on the position object, which was a pick list field. Now in this tutorial, we are going to add the following fields on the position object, but there is going to be a twist. We will be using schema builder so that we can add all of these fields faster. In order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the schema builder here and we will create these open date field higher by the other field that we're going to create is close date and then the location where the position is going to be open. So these are the fields that we will be creating. So we're going to go over to the schema builder. So go here and uh, we'll go to the schema builder. You can go to the schema builder through the object manager. So if you see here the object manager, there is a button to go to the schema builder or you can even type in the quick find and uh, you can see how to go to the, your schema builder. So from here also you can look for under objects and field. There is a schema builder here. So click on that one. And uh, now we have selected the position object and under the elements, the field that we are going to add is of a type date. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this date field over here and it's going to ask me the label. So I can choose one of these labels. So the label would be the open date. So that's going to be the label open date automatically. When I tab out this field value would be populated, which is the field name. And uh, if you want to give an help text, you can do it. If you want to give a default value, you can do that as well. There is no default value. Or if let's say you want to set up a default value, you can do that. It's not a required field. So I'm going to leave it as it is and hit the save button. Now I've added the open date field. The other one would be the higher by. So I'm going to go ahead and move the date data type again to the under, under this position. And then here I'll say higher by. And uh, when I tab out, this is going to be populated. It's not a required. So it's much more faster than using the object manager when you're adding the fields through that, because then you have to choose different options like uh, where this field will be available and uh, which all profiles will have access, all that. So you don't have to enter all those values when you're adding the fields via the schema builder. So the next thing, the next field that we're going to add is the, we have added the open date higher by the next one is the close date. So I'm going to choose the date from here as well. And then I'm going to select the date field. And uh, here I'll go, go ahead and say close by and field name, and then hit the save one field data type that is not available on the to choose from is geolocation. So if you remember, there was a field data type called geolocation that was available. And there were also a external lookup relationship type that you can't choose from here as well. So there are some of the uh, shortcomings of using schema builder when you have to create fields of specific type, you don't have the way of creating geolocation. So if you have to create a field of the type geolocation, then you have to actually use this object manager and then go through that actual uh, creation of the field through that. But other than those, then you can create through the schema builder. So there's a close by date we have added higher by open date, etc. And then the next one is the location, which is a pick list. So I'm going to choose a pick list here and it's a it's not a multi select or we can make it a multi select as well it means it can, that position can be open in different cities. So if you want to make it available for different cities, you can do that by choosing the multi select, we will leave it as a single select only. So we'll choose this. Now the field label would be, uh, we'll call it as location. And uh, here the field name and then what are the values? So the values for this can be San Francisco, California, New York. So I'm going to go ahead and choose San Francisco, California, and then it will be New York. And then we can say Dallas, Texas. That's another place. And uh, Austin, Texas. That's another place. The position is open. We can say Delhi, India. That's another place. We can uh, make this position open, open and um, I'm not choosing anything from here. I'm not, I don't want it alphabetically. And I also don't want as a default first value as a default. And if you want to add any more, you can do that. Um, we can add it Mumbai, India in another place where this position is open. So these are the options for the pick list. 
and then hit the save here and now you can see here these are the the fields that i've added now if i go over to the position object so if you go here and if you refresh the page we've added the fields couple more fields and if you go to the position and if you go and click on the new you don't see the list of fields that we just added via the schema builder so that is another thing so when you add the fields or when you add fields via the schema builder those fields do not get automatically added on the page layout you have to manually add those fields after you have added them through the schema builder so if you created a field using this object manager you don't have to add those newly created fields to the page layout because they automatically get added but when you are adding the fields using the schema builder then you have to manually add them to the uh, page layout so how can i do that i will go here to this gear icon and go to the edit object or you can go to the object manager so here under the page layout there is a default layout that gets created which is the position layout now this position layout doesn't have the fields that we added via the schema builder so what i have to do is under the fields i have to actually bring those fields and add them to the layout so the field that i added was the uh, hire by location close date so you can see here they are available up here so what i can de um, do is we can go ahead and uh, add the location field so i'm going to go ahead and add this location field over to the right and then the open date would be i'm going to add it over here and the close by i'm going to add it over to the right and then the higher date so if you want to create a new section and things of that nature you want to make this page layout look prettier you can do that you can go ahead and uh, add a new section as well if you want and then um, you can select okay do you want it to be a uh, two column section or in uh, one column so you can see here if you wanted to add a new section all you have to do is you just drag this new section over here and then you can choose do you want this layout to be one column or two column do you want the tab key order from left to right or from top to bottom you can do that for the timing we don't want the new section but eventually we will create a new section because the amount of fields that we are going to add on the position object will be a lot so we want to categorize some of the fields so currently what i've done is since i've added these fields via the schema builder those fields do not get automat automatically added on the uh, page layout so i have to actually come here and edit the position layout and then add the fields drop the fields here once you do that you can either go to the quick save or you can do save here whichever uh, the quick save would be faster and uh, it will not reload the page now if you go ahead and go over to the position object if you let me close some of these tabs so now if you go and refresh this you will see that if you go to the new now those new set of fields have been added so you can see the title is there location these are the locations that you have now this is the open date so this gives you a pop-up like to choose a date similarly close by is also the date so it gives you a calendar pop-up and then we have is the hire by so these are the some of the fields that we have added on the position object via the schema builder an important point is here is that schema builder does not allow all the field types to be um, create all, all the fields of the different types there is a limitation on geolocation so if you go here you will see under the fields and relationship these are the field types that you can choose from so option that is not available is the geolocation that is not available and whenever you add a field via the schema builder you have to actually come and add that field to the layout manually it does not get automatically added now if i want to see that what all profiles have that uh, permissions right so let's say the location field was added via the schema builder so i want to see uh, what is the default level of access i got so you can see here by default these are the access that uh, these are the profiles which have access to this field so now if you wanted to change this you have to go ahead and uh, come here make it visible to all and then you can see here you have to make it visible to all and it will give you visible access and then hit the 
save so now you have to if you want to give access to all the profiles you can choose it by default majority of the profiles get the visible access when you add a field through the schema builder so that's another difference so you can see here um, because the, when you're adding the field via the schema builder it doesn't give you the window to select which profiles the field um, access should be given so by default all the majority of the profiles have the visible access but if you want to change um, then you can go to the select the field for which the you want to change the access so you can go here so, uh, select the uh, click on the set field level security button and then you can choose if you want to take away the access from some of the profiles and um, if you want to give the access so you can see here all the partner profiles so the goal partner user the partner community user then the partner community login user um, and then the yeah so these are the silver partner user so these are the profiles which don't get access but rest of them have the visible clicked next to them so if you want to manually give them you can click on and give access to all the remaining profiles as well and then hit the save button so we have added quite a bit fields uh, on the position object now so in the next tutorial we'll keep working on this position object and we will add fields to the position object so i'll see you then thank you